How's it guys and girls? I'm back on the farm again today and as you guys can see it is a nice beautiful calm overcast day today. The first time in a very long time that I've been out here where there's almost no wind. So hopefully it's going to make for a very enjoyable day today. As you guys can see right next to me I have the beautiful Daystate Red Wool Safari and um, it's been a long time since I've used this gun. So uh, I've tuned it a little bit yesterday to shoot the uh, 26 grain javelin slugs at around 936 feet per second. So my mission for today is to take long range shots at doves and pigeons and I'm going to try to shoot them off the power line right here at the back of me. I don't know if you guys can see it yet but um, nevertheless hopefully it's going to make for interesting shots. Um, so uh, without wasting more time let's jump into it. Okay, we have our first couple of doves here on the power line. And they are right at 119 meters. So I'm gonna make for 120 on the clicks. So let's see what happens. That's beautiful. That was a nice headshot, it seems, at 120 meters. So, uh, very happy with that first shot. Oh, beauty, 118, that was flippin' solid. Hundred forty three meters rock pigeon in the bloody head. Man, if that's not satisfying, then I honestly have no freaking idea. That was honestly one of my favorite shots so far with this gun, and most probably the furthest shot that I've uh, taken with this gun so far. Hundred forty three meters. I'm mostly going to walk there and go pick it up and uh, maybe I'll come show you guys how it looks like. I know YouTube is not really into that but um, I'll sacrifice this one for for the views. <laughs> 115 and that was a damn beautiful shot as well. I was on my way to go pick up that rock pigeon and um, there was a dove that came in and landed right in front of me so stoked about that. I'm quickly going to go pick them up. Okay, so I quickly went to fetch that rock pigeon 
at 143 meters and um, I don't know if the camera is going to pick it up but there's a perfect little hole just underneath its eye and on the other side it looked like it came out there by the neck part there so it, it, it was a freaking good shot I'm very happy with that and um, yeah hopefully I can get more shots like this this is my personal best so far with the uh, Daystate Red Bull Safari and uh, hopefully records are made to be broken and um, you know I can stretch it out a little bit further the wind did pick up a little bit now so um, it's going to make it interesting um, there's always a challenge even if you shoot close range or long ranges um, there's so many things that you need to, to take in uh, consideration so uh, yeah let's see what happens hundred twenty three meters and you could hear that one smack a decent decent shot very happy with that Hundred twenty one. Boom. One mole for the wind. Now I'm really getting into it. I enjoy long range shooting a lot. Satisfaction of getting that perfect shot is just remarkable. This one right in front of me, yeah. 116. 116. I'll go fetch that one, it's going to expire definitely. So, um, very nice so far. So I've quickly decided to go pick up a couple that I've shot and um, to my surprise the one that I've shot that flew off um, quite a far distance I think from where it sat to where it flew it must be over 50 meters or so that it's still uh, carried on flying um, just a quick one to show you why it flew off that far it's because I struck it right in the lungs and uh, didn't hit the spine or so so it actually ran out of breath um, actually there where it stopped so uh, it did expire so with a pellet that wouldn't have been possible uh, there's just not enough heating power but with slugs Again, they are just way, way, way more forgiving um, to such an extent that you rip things apart. So it is a bit graphic, but uh, I'd rather take a shot like that and know it's dead than, you know, leaving it to suffer. Seems like we've got a couple of rock pigeons here at 114, 115 around there. Oh, empty. I've got to load. Oh, 
beauty. Rock pigeon down. I hope that one goes sit up there. Go, 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 go. Yes. Also 114, 150 meters. <laughs> Two of them. Freaking nice. 114 meters, both of them. So lucky about those two, or happy about those two, because I'm very lucky sometimes when you shoot one, the other one flies off, especially when it's just open like that. So um, with all the hay um, bales that's in front of me, if they sat on the ground, it would have been impossible to, to take a shot. But um, luckily it went up to the power line and uh, I could kill that one too. Very happy. Hmm. Another cracking, beautiful shot at 115 meters. So um, I'm happy to see when they fall like that. Another cracking shot, 117-ish meters around there, if I estimated it right. It's a little bit off to my 12 o'clock, 12 o'clock is 115, so ever so slightly towards the left-hand side should be a few meters more. Very happy about that. Another one down at 115, really nice shot. So there we go guys and girls, it was really, really, really tons of fun to be out here again today doing some long range shooting with the Daystate Red Bull Safari and as you guys saw, the gun is really capable of taking those long shots if you really want to do so and um, I must say the Javelin Slugs also really did a great job um, out of this uh, setup that I have here today. If you guys like this video, please remember to give it a thumbs up, also remember to hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can be notified with all the upcoming videos that I make. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers.